most wanted mafia boss, Matteo Messina Denaro, has been arrested. Now, he's considered to be the leading figure in the Cosa Nostra and was reportedly captured when he visited a day clinic in the city of Palermo. Denaro has been on the run since, believe it or not, the mid-1990s, when the Sicilian mafia stepped up their bombing and murder campaign that included the killing of two prosecutors. Well, let's talk to our reporter now, Davide Giglione, who is in Rome. And Davide, first of all, give us a, a bit of a flavour of who this man is and why he's been so important. Good morning. Uh, yes, uh, this morning Italians are glued to the news because uh, um, everyone's trying to understand how it was possible um, for this man to, to escape for so long. Um, Matteo... Uh, uh, Messina Denaro was one of the most um, important uh, um, criminals in the country and according to Europol was one of the most wanted men in Europe. He was sentenced, as you said, um, to a life term for his, for, for his role in the, in the murders of Falcone and Borsellino, two anti-mafia prosecutors who eventually became the symbol of the fight of the state um, against the organized crime. Now, um, it was really, really difficult to, to, to chase and follow and capture this man. Uh, and, and there was an aura of mystery surrounding him because no one has seen him publicly for the last 30 years. There was a photo dating back to the early 90s um, of him and uh, this aura of mystery surrounded him for years and years. Uh, this is a very important symbol um, for um, Italians and for Sicilians who over the years almost accepted the fact that they have to live with the organized crime surrounding them. So this man was really, really important because even though um, he wasn't seen public publicly and was physically unavailable, he was still controlling and influencing the, um, the organized crime in Sicily, in Cosa Nostra and was controlling part of the region. Mm. Um, so it's a very, very important uh, uh, symbol for, for, for Italy, for the community and for Italian authorities, finally uh, showing that they're fighting back. Davide, what do we know about what he's been up to for the last 30 years? And, and, and more importantly, how was he caught? So he went to a, a private clinic this morning in the city of Palermo and he was arrested while he was outside. Um, he went to a cafe doing the quintessentially Italian thing. He was reportedly having a coffee. Um, so the police, a squad of uh, more than 100 um, policemen uh, was there to arrest him. Uh, and he was, he's been taken into custody, but no one knows uh, where he was taken uh, because obviously of security reasons. Um, so um, so, so, so it's, 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 over the last 30 years, no one really... Um, no one really knew where he was. So there was this mystery surrounding him. Um, people were saying that uh, he may have uh, resorted to plastic surgery. No one knew what he looked like. Uh, and no one knows what it looks like today. There was this um, photo who has been uh, photoshopped uh, by uh, uh, authorities, um, which was circulating, has always been circulating. But that became the symbol of the impossibility of of catching powerful mafia bosses in Italy. Uh, and no one was expecting this uh, in the country. Um, so that's really, really, really important. Now, uh, this man um, has been sentenced to um, a, life a life term for the murders of the anti-mafia prosecutors, as you said, but also uh, is believed to be responsible um, for many bomb attacks uh, over the countries okay. in major Italian cities. And he's also perceived as very, very violent and he's believed to have strangled his own wife uh, with his own hands. So it's, it's, it's quite shocking for Italians today. Davide, Davide Giglione, our reporter in Rome, absolutely shocking. And uh, thank you for giving us that update on the mafia boss who's been arrested today. Thank you.